Good morning, everyone. So it is my pleasure and honor to present to you our guest speaker for today's flag ceremony. She is our very own 2010 alumnus, a registered nurse in the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, and New Zealand. Currently a practice a, a nur practicing nurse at the New Zealand and an active Filipino advocator as well in that country. She's also a blogger, okay? So you can visit and subscribe her YouTube channel, which is a journal of Jai. And then a mother of two daughters, Gary and Tony, and a loving wife of our also very own alumnus, uh, Charles de Guzman. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Mrs. Josephine Lucas de Guzman. To Dr. Maria Flor de Liza Anastasia, the Vice President of the Central Escolar University, Malolos. To Dr. Crescentia M. Santos, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing Program Head. Ms. Gerald Evangelista Mamji, Bachelor of Science in Nursing Coordinator. The nursing faculty and staff, the Malolos Coordinating Council, the non-teaching staff, and our dear future nurses. Kia ora and good morning from New Zealand. Good afternoon to us. Um, I am here today to encourage each one of you in regards to the nursing profession and share some interesting and personal stories regarding my journey as I have practiced mostly overseas in the Middle East and currently here in New Zealand. Nursing is truly one noble profession, the calling to give more than what you receive. Yes, I am speaking about the financial and emotional struggles a nurse has to face on a day-to-day -day basis. To care more than other people could even offer that even at times you question why you do the good and the right things when there are people that are supposed to give that to your patient. To spend time with patients who are in need, who are in pain, or even dying. How amazing it is that one profession can experience the whole life cycle of the human being. That we as nurses are there, able to assist and witness during an infant's birth, and also there on a post-mortem care. The treating you get is out of the ordinary too, and I am forever thankful for Central Escolar University for honing my skills, my knowledge, and my attitude so I could serve as the competent and kind nurse that I am today. How could I even forget those times that I have to burn the midnight oil due to the nursing care plans, the deadlines, the drug studies, the exams, the immersions and community services, and even practicing for the Malolo CEU Coral. Students, if you think that you are having a hard season now, imagine a life where you have to endure an hour travel time every single day just to reach the campus. To make sure that you maintain a high mark because you needed to be a scholar. Imagine a death of a close friend, a classmate, and attending his funeral after hours. Imagine that you cannot afford a meal, so you eat LTB, the Lugo Tokwat Baboy, or even Tokneneng most of the time. Imagine that when technology is advancing and all your reports needed to be printed and computerized, you are one of those students who still submits the handwritten paper. And imagine that you lost your beloved mom during your college days the depression, the heartbreak, and not even sure if one day you will make it until the graduation day. Friends, this person in your imagination is me. So if you feel like giving up and all hopes has been lost, if you feel like the burden is on you right now, please remember that there is always, always something better in your horizon. And though the horizon is unclear for now, be still, be brave, just be the best you can be. Being a professional nurse for more than a decade now, I must admit that it has been nothing but a roller coaster ride. The adrenaline rush, the waiting, the mixed emotions, and all the in-betweens. I have learned to speak different languages and mingle with different ethnicities, to be culturally aware and respecting one's background. Oh, the simple words you have to learn from the Kapampangan word Danum on becoming too big and then it becomes the Moya and now I have to learn how to say water when in fact it's just water. Oh, truly having that versatility and confidence is a plus. 
Nurses carried patients and their debt in their hands, in my hands for countless times. This was when I was still an emergency nurse. I cannot bear the sadness and grief when a patient expires. We are always taught and expected that we have to be professional at all times. Bawal umiyak pag namatay ang pasyente, yan ang sabi nila. But this was not the case for me. So I left the emergency department. But hey, there is always life ahead. I chose another area of nursing. And the joy you feel when a bed-bound patient for months who cannot walk or cannot do anything due to a car accident and you see him able to walk again is just purely exhilarating. We nurses play a vital role in the healthcare industry with the goals of promoting healthy lifestyle, preventing diseases, alleviating suffering, and so much more so we can deliver effective and efficient care to our community. We stick to the evidence-based practice. We do holistic yet personalized care. And this is where our Escolarian philosophy come into play. The inseparable elements of CEU's education, Ciencia y Virtud, that was handed by our CEU's founders, Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen de Luna, has been a motivational guide to build one's character through scientific mentality, to be able to come up with a decision that is scientific yet based on one's virtue, to always choose kindness and goodness. To my future colleagues, nurses, I have been vocal since before. You must have a sharp mind, gentle hands, and a golden heart to be able to appreciate and activate the real power of a nurse. Let your passion and your dedication fuel your hunger of a better world. I want to culminate this speech by sharing the, this principle that you must etch into your hearts. People may forget your name, but they will never, ever forget how you made them feel. So please, please offer and do the best care you can. Spend that time one patient truly deserves. You may never know that your actions could save one's life. Stay safe, be kind, and let your light shine. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you, Nurse Josephine, for that inspiring and self-motivating speech. I'm sure that this will truly help in boosting our self-development as future nurses and always choose kindness and goodness. And one thing that um, I remember is always carry the sharp mind, gentle heart, and golden heart. Thank you, Nurse Josephine. And as token of appreciation for her time and valuable contribution, may we call on Dr. Crescentia M. Santos, Program Head of Department of Nursing, for awarding the certificate and recognition. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to all. Central Escolar University awards this certificate of appreciation to Josephine Lucas de Guzman, our own nursing alumna, BOTS 2010, New Zealand practice nurse, for sharing her knowledge and expertise, and of course, for inspiring our future nurses as guest speaker during this virtual flag ceremony on the 28th of February, 2022, held via Zoom. Uh, given this 28th day of February 2022, signed yours truly as program head of the nursing department. Of course, we will also be asking our own vice president to sign the certificate that we will be sending to Josephine. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you so much, Paul. Stay safe for everyone. Yeah, we are very proud of you. Thank you so much. Mom, we also recommend Josephine to the marketing department, to the presenter. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Please, 
Yeah, yeah please try. Also vloggers. She's also <laughs> vloggers. So I, I sent her, I know, uh, be the face of the camera. College of Nursing. <laughs> uh, thank you, Josephine. The thank you so much, the girls Paul. and the two kids. Yes, we'll do, ma'am. I'm back to the floor, Paul. I'm actually just on break at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. Such a pleasure and an honor to have this um moment with you, all of you, Paul, as you have been a part yes. of my life, really. So thank you so much. And yes. Yeah, stay safe, Paul, always.